you all. Welcome. It's Friday night, June, uh, July, June. <laughs> June 16th, 2023. Um, I wanted to thank you for coming out. It's obviously our first night on Concerts on the Common. It's also, more importantly, our Moses Howell presentation for our 2022 Moses Howell Award recipient, uh, Mr. Ron Ronald C. Marsh. Uh, the Marsh family is here. Thank you for coming out tonight. And thank you for your uh, sharing your, your family member with all of town. Um, we'll start first by, I think the scouts are here and want to, do you want to walk up? No? Okay. I want to acknowledge the scouts are here, the Congregational Church is here, um, and the Lions are here. And these are three of the really large contributions that Ron had a, a big part of, or organizations that Ron had a large part of in town. So thank you guys all for coming out tonight and being here. Um, we'll start with the pledge. We're not going to do the uh, the Star Spangled Banner, but we'll do the pledge. The flag is up here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So first, I wanted to do a brief overview of Moses Howe. He was he lived from 1695 to 1749. He was a founding father of Rutland and is recognized as Rutland's first law enforcement officer. He and his wife Eunice had 10 children, including Rutland's first born citizen, Samuel, in 1719. Moses held many town offices, including selectman, esquire, justice of the peace, officer in the militia, and constable. Whenever there was a need, he stepped up. He and his family laid to rest in the old burial ground cemetery between the library. Turned it off. Turned it off. Yeah, too loud. Sorry. Sorry. He lays to rest in the old burial ground cemetery between the library and the old fire station. Amazingly, Rutland residents today are able to draw direct lineage to the Moses Howell family. A little bit about the Moses Howell Award process. Nominations are open at the beginning of every calendar year for the previous year. So in 2023, we opened it for the 2022 award recipient. We solicit the select board elicits nominations from the public, and we review nominations in the early spring. Generally, the, the, this ceremony is generally held during Public Safety Week in May. The past couple years, it's been pushed around based on um, select board and family availability. Ron was nominated by over 13 individuals in town. He by far received the most nominations. And they all pointed to his selflessness and constant community involvement. Selflessness, kindness, caring were all themes that we saw throughout the nominations. One nomination noted a quote from a sermon Ron, Ron gave at the Cong Congregational Church in 2018. I'm not sure if you're here, so thank you for letting me quote you if you are. Quote, reflecting on his grandfather's writings, Ron said, quote, none of us can understand, can underestimate the impact our lives, our actions, and our words can hold, have on other people, and that impact can happen years after our deaths. End quote. Ron's impact on the town of Rutland will never be forgotten and will always be an inspiration to all who knew and loved him. That's what our nominee, nominee said. The board wants to acknowledge Ron's unending commitment to Rutland, and we want to thank his family here for sharing him with all of us. Time is short and not always on our side, and I, like many, wish we had more time and were quicker to honor Ron. Elaine, Stephen, and family, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time and your lives with Rutland. May we all be inspired to carry on the Rutland, a true, caring, kind community motto forward. So I think Paul has a little bit of a memoir from his time with Ron, and I have a couple keys to give to the nieces. So if Sophie, Sophia, Madeline, and Jenna can come on up. Okay, 
Jim, thank you very much. For 12 years, I sat behind Ronnie at school. And we were called Mr. Marsh, Mr. Matson, Ronnie and Paul, M&M, and &M. Um, there was one teacher who also referred to us as, oh, you two guys still here? So at any rate, um, all the years that we spent together, we got to know each other quite well. And then, as iron, irony would have it, um, Ronnie and Elaine got married, and Gail and I got married, and we lived right across the courtyard from each other for pro probably about two years before we each went into our own homes. So I've known Ronnie, and Ronnie and I had a great respect for each other. We enjoyed each other's company throughout the 12 years of school, and we always thought that, you know, okay, we can do this, and that was one of his prime assets as far as I was concerned, was his positive attitude, and we can do this. So that's how I best remember Ronnie to this day. Okay, so now I will read the official proclamation. Mr. Ronald Marsh was a beloved family man and Rutland resident. Mr. Marsh was highly honored member, or was a highly honored member of the Rutland's Lion Club and served as president for two terms. He was a faithful servant of the First Congressional Church of Rutland, active in church council and always volunteering when help was needed. Mr. Marsh was also an Eagle Scout who shared his time with the Boy Scouts of America, Rutland's Troop 141, and Treasure Valley Scout Reservation, mentoring many scouts through their scouting achievements and adventures. Mr. Ronald Marsh epitomized Rutland's old time motto of a kind, caring community. And whereas, upon seeing unmet needs, he was always quick to volunteer help. Whereas Mr. Marsh, a lifelong Rutland resident, served the town and townspeople his entire life. Whereas the town of Whereas the town of Rutland wishes to recognize the actions of Mr. Ronald Marsh, a Rutland resident, and an exemplary example of community stewardship. Now therefore, be it resolved that the town of Rutland, on behalf of its citizens, is grateful to Ronald, Mr. Ronald Marsh, for his service to the town, and that hereby the town bestows upon Mr. Ronald C. Marsh the 2022 Moses Howe Award. Could I get a member of the family to accept this? And we also have the Moses Howe Award that will hang in the Public Safety Building with Ron's name engraved and the 2022. So this plaque is, hangs in the front of the Public Safety Building for all to see. Thank you. portion of the Moses Howell Award presentation. If anybody wants, if the family wants to take pictures or anything, we're happy to do so. Um, so thank you all for coming out. Thank you Boy Scouts. Thank you Lions. Thank you Congregational Church. Thank you all.